and welcome once again to my kitchen. Now today we are using, I think I counted 13 Mrs. Rogers products, which is pretty... Lucky number uh, 13. Lucky number, 13's always been my lucky number actually. I'm, yeah, I like 13, it's yeah. good. Nice. It's not Black Friday, so we thought we'd do 13. Uh, <laughs> no, we are actually making a curry. Now I have always wanted to make a curry from pretty much scratch. I've never done it before, so it's a bit of a test kitchen for me. Uh, but I wanted to show you that if I'm competent enough to do it, you guys can too. Absolutely. <laughs> I've also um, I've also had to play around with a really nice thing to serve uh, this curry, this chicken masala with, and uh, yeah, which actually turned out really good. So you'll have to stay tuned to see what that is because it's not rice, but it is a carbohydrate. So stick around so that you can see that now. We have got a competition going. Competition time, share, competition share and like and time. do whatever you need to do to win. Yes, yeah, so share, like, comment, and uh, you can go into the draw to win a fantastic Mrs. Rogers prize pack. Uh, now we, uh, the competition this week, we want to know the most exotic place that you've been in the world, or in your house, but in the world. I'm going to show you the most Ben's exotic Ben's going to show you his. That I have ever been. Yes. And there I am. Look, look, there I am in front of the Taj Mahal, which was flipping fantastic. And that was really was cool, so actually, because you FaceTimed us from the Taj Mahal. And the kids and I were sitting, it was a Sunday morning, I remember cool. it. We were sitting in bed, and uh, Ben had not had any sleep for about 24 hours, no sleep. 26 hours no or sleep. something. No I sleep, no sleep at all. No, no, no sleep. No. But he got Overrated. to the Taj Mahal. Was it what, a six hour drive from where you were? It was were? a six hour drive in the back of a van of a person that I had never met before. Yeah, that so sounds really dodgy. It wasn't yes. the back of a van. It was in a car, wasn't it? You didn't oh, it have a proper, like a proper tool paper thing. bag yeah, no, over no, your head no. or something. Hi, Alana. Good to see you. Welcome Hi, back. Hi, Alana. How are you? Um, yeah, no, it was it was fun, but I got to see all these. I'll just quickly show yeah, some go quick on. spices. Go I, on. I got to go to um, uh, the spice market, one of the spice markets in New Delhi. And you got it to go to like the bulk spice market, the eh? world's largest. Yeah. So those, that's some chilies. When I walked into the chili section, um, you could barely breathe. There was that much chili around. And then they had it all set out so you could obviously buy it. This was bulk. And if I'm just going to show you one last picture, that is what turmeric root looks like. Yeah. Uh, and I think Kirsty, you've got some there. Yeah? So that's the what it looks some. like in its raw you form. You smuggled it so into you the hold country. it up. That's the one. You got your turmeric root there. It was. So um, that's the turmeric root, and it's really hard. It's almost like coral. Yeah, it was if, good. if you yeah, if you have ever been on a beach and found some coral that's you know like got yep. washed up on the beach, it's it pretty much if I if someone handed me that and said what is it, I would guess yeah. coral. Amelia went to the Gold Coast. Nice. She we had our it. honeymoon at the Gold Coast. Did. And uh, Alana's Manipuri. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. There you <laughs> well go. Done. Excellent. My most exotic place um, that I really enjoyed was Paris. Yeah. It was awesome. When you were younger. When younger I was younger. Right. younger. No, did my little OE. OE thing. Mm. Stuck away. As you do. Yeah. So anyway, chicken masala we are cooking today. As I said, it's got 13 herbs and spices slash pepper, salt. Jan went to the Gold Coast sort of as well. And Cheyenne, Aussie. Oh. Yeah. Aussie, Australia. Yeah. Australia. Nice. Well, I guess that's pretty It's exotic ish. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so uh, there are two parts to making any good curry. The first one is marinating your meat and the second one is cooking it. Now marinating your meat can be anywhere from an hour to overnight. Obviously the longer you marinate it for, the better flavours you're going to get. So I actually marinated my meat last night, but I'm going to show you how to do the marinade because I only did half of it so that I could show you guys today so I can do the rest of it and then we can have it for dinner tonight. Yay! Yay! Everybody so wins. anyway, mainly me. I am using chicken thigh. You can use whatever you want. Traditionally, you'd actually use a cut of chicken that has the bone in it uh, because the bone creates flavor, uh, more flavor. It's a similar concept to a stock. Uh, the more bone you have in it, the more flavor. However, my kids are fussy, and to be honest, I just yeah. want them to be able to eat, and this is one thing they do like eating, uh, so I am using chicken thigh. Thigh is also good because it's a meatier um, chicken, and or the meatier part of the chicken, and it has more flavor. It's also got a little bit more fat, which, let's face it, fat tastes good. No, so. Sorry, Debbie was saying she's born in the cargo, I think she said there, and... Yep. Um, and loves the place. So that's good. Some so cheese rolls all around. Yep. What about 
have you? Have Jimmy's you been ever... everywhere. But Jimmy's been to Nepal, Thailand, Europe, oh. Indonesia, and oh, and Alana, no, tro- no problem at all. He's very good. Jimmy's now, been. Now I also just want to point out my apron that I have made. It's very nice. With my little bow. Little bow. Well so I'm Except the birds are flying upside down. Well, no, they 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 just they go everywhere. They they are, just, oh, they are everywhere. They they okay. go. They turn around as I didn't birds mean critique, do. Because I I don't know how to do it, so. I don't know. Thanks, Jan. Anyway, share the stuff. Made this. Don't anyway, know. this marinade. So we've got some yog- yogurt or yogurt. yogurt, just plain yogurt. I like to use plain Greek yogurt um, or Greek concept yogurt. Just means it's a bit thicker. It's probably just got more thickening in it, to be honest. Yep. And a teaspoon of minced garlic. Now I cheated. I've used the packet stuff because I figure I'm not eating it raw, so I use the packet. Alizel's making um, veggie rolls for a two-year-old while watching us. Oh, Hello. brilliant. Well done. Okay, so I've got, yeah, garlic and yogurt in there. Garlic and yogurt. Yogurt. You like yogurt, I like, I like yogurt. yogurt. Yes. A yogurt's a pommy thing. I'm going to do Yeah, that's English. Right, yeah. Sophie's been to okay. Spain. I wouldn't mind going to Spain. Spain would be cool. Spain. Now, um, I have got some ground ginger. Ginger. Again, everybody, all the amounts, etc., in the uh, in post. The I have got, now I've got some chili flakes. Obviously curry needs to be a little bit spicy, but my kids don't eat really spicy no. and my head blows off if it's spicy. So I'm Something only- Something else blows off as well. But my nose. Yes, your nose, yeah, exactly. Alana Me, likes my nose. Apron. Thanks, Alana. Ben loves knock it off your face. Yeah, but I can put in chili afterwards. That's the thing. That's the you point. You can go back and look at our homemade sriracha, Mrs. Rogers sriracha sauce, and chuck that on anything. Yeah. So. I actually just want to avoid my face and squash half of the chili because I'm making it for the kids. So again, you know, just go with what your flavors are. Uh, now I've got some. Now, actually I must admit, in the uh, recipe I have said garam masala. I'm just going to mellow that down a bit for my kids. And I'm actually putting in the Kashmiri masala powder. Oh, I live my life really, on the edge. I know. I just want to show you that you can... Can mix it up. You can mix it up a little yeah. bit. Don't be scared to try different flavors. I know my kids love this, so it's really important. <laughs> Jan's most um, um, exotic place she's ever been to is Indian restaurant. Well, that's cool. pretty exotic. Yep, exactly right. Yep. Music on and stuff. A little bit different yeah. than the Taj Mahal, but that's all right. Can't all get to the Taj Mahal and go to the spice markets. I'm a very lucky boy. Well, your dad loves it, the yeah, Indian yeah. restaurants. Exactly. So anyway. Oh, there you go. Actually, there's there's your difference. There's there your you difference. Go. There's your tum- nice. turmeric. 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 The so there you go. There's the roots. So some turmeric in there. It's great for colour um, as well as flavour, obviously. And we just want to mix that up. Now remember when you're chopping up your, your raw meats, you best to use a plastic board, something that you can wash really easy and just have wholly and solely for raw meats. Yeah. Um, I always pour really hot boiling water over it after I've done it. Okay, so you just want to... Oh, yum, that even looks... And, Thanks for liking and sharing, great. Bronwyn. You're a star. You're a rocker, Bronwyn. Okay. Oh, and Sophie says, thanks for making celiac safe spices. No oh, drama. you're welcome. A lot of celiac friends. We do. We love yeah. celiac yeah. friends. You're a, we love all friends. Oh, okay. Anyway, so this you want to pop in the fridge overnight if possible, uh, but no less than an hour. So if you're like, oh, what am I going to make for dinner? Oh, no. I've got 13 spices in the cupboard. Oh will make, well, make this. If you don't, hopefully you yeah. hopefully you do after this because yeah, well, it smells exactly. good. Well, it does. It smells yum. So you want to pop that in the fridge, and I actually I'll just show you. That was really easy to make, by the way. Oh, that was just a marinade. That was just a marinade. That's not thirteen spices. No. Just want to show you the difference in colour as it went overnight. It went really different, which is kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. Wow. So I think that was just obviously the yogurt and everything working yeah, in. Either knowing. that or I mucked it up last night. Quite possible. Yeah. You never know. I'm sure it'll taste I great. don't think I did. No. Uh, so now I'm going to pop that to the side. And now th- this was another thing I wanted to show you. I bought out my tacky plastic container. <laughs> Michelle said only 13 spices? Only. Well, actually, it's 16, actually, but a couple of the spices I'm using more than once. Yeah, and it's not just for this. It's for something else as well, which you're going to break out in a minute. I'm going to break out Boom, soon. boom. Hold uh, tight. This is how I like to marinate my chicken in a plastic container. I know we don't always love plastic, but I love the fact that it's got a lid on it that the kids find a little bit tricky to get off because obviously we don't want to contaminate raw meat, etc. And don't forget to put your... Uh, 
raw meat on a separate shelf to yes, things like cheeses really and deli food. Thanks for sharing, anyway, Sophie. Much appreciated. So, so that, that is my tacky this. Now, I am also going to show you one thing that if you do have time to do this the night before, it is best because I did it and I'm perfect. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to laugh then, because you probably oh, are. Oh, no, I'd be in trouble. He's so not getting this for dinner. <laughs> anyway, I found a recipe online that I have manipulated because it was a bit bland to uh, have homemade papadoms. Oh, wait. Papadoms? Pompadoms. Pop well, we're, we're talking about, I would have said papadom. 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 But it's papadum. Is it's actually it's spelled, P -A -P -A -P -A yeah, it's actually -A -P -A spelled papadum. Yeah. P A P A D U M. Pompadom. 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 Yeah, it hasn't got a pom. It's no pom. There's no pom. I thought it had a pom. Pompadom. It's papadom. <laughs> papadom. I don't know. Anyway, homemade. Yeah, Michelle has a pretty impressive pom spice pantry, apparently. Oh. You can get a photo of Michelle. Check it in the group. Well done. Take and a photo. Put yeah. it in the group. Yeah, yes, let us know. Absolutely. Those, so, and yes, those containers are awesome. I know. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're not gonna name the brand, but we all love them. Oh, Sheridan went to Mexico. You went to Mexico when you were a kid, didn't you? Yes, oh, I got yeah. like a big sombrero roll. And and a um, leather jacket. I think my dad got a leather jacket. jacket. Oh, okay. Sorry, back to the recipe. Okay, You've some got, salt. Got pepper, some salt. So pepper, some salt. Now I'm only making half of the recipe that's in there because obviously I've got some that I've made before and I don't think the kids will, well, they'll try it, but you know, I just don't, I don't, I don't want lots. Oh, well, that okay. looks nice. What's that? This is our favorite spice in the world. Gumin. Gumin. So I'm only going to put half of it in. But you want to put the whole lot in. I'm just going to leave that there. Ground cumin, yeah, nice. we live by. Okay, so. Oh no, Jan's spice has all got ruined by a water leak in a cupboard. Oh, Jan. Oh. You need to oh, like, no. share, and comment, and you might be in the no. draw to win. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to make a, a bit of a dough here, a dough a deer. Uh, so that was into a cup of plain flour. Now I've got some water. And I don't want to do too much. Now the water you really need to judge because every flour is different. Yeah. So you're not you're making a, a dough, not a paste. I'm making a dough, not a paste. Yeah. And I've also taken all of my rings off, as you will see, because let's face it, flour and water and jewelry don't mix I don't. now well. I'm just gonna just while you do that yeah I'm just gonna um, if people want more recipes like the ones that we're making the best place to go is for us anyway is YouTube um, and I mm. actually to be honest once you get on YouTube you're gonna find that you'll you'll get lost in a whole lot of other channels that are there um, we've yeah, got we, 101 we, recipe videos up there now 101 wow that's, yeah, that's cool. pretty good so 101 that's a milestone 101 recipe videos to watch um, That's and you'll be awesome. able to see you'll be able to see the um, go us the go us uh, <laughs> the change in the way that we've presented our videos as well and the kitchen and the, the change kitchen. in the you'll kitchen be able to see the change in the kitchen so that's a bit of fun. So yeah, go and yeah. check out check out YouTube if you're um, if you're able because it's um yeah, it's a bit of fun looking back. It is. It. Yeah. Okay, so what you want to do? Zanzibar. Davina's gone to Zanzibar. Wow, that's a bit fancy pants. And thanks, what was that for? Were you on holiday? I don't even know where Zanzibar. Isn't that where um. Freddie Mercury's from? Wasn't he born in Zanzibar? Oh gosh, I don't know. Hmm. That sounds cool though. I'd love to go to um, Yeah, that'd be Africa. neat. Maybe when the kids are grown. So anyway, you've yep. got this dough. And I would chop that up into about four. Yep. And then you want to, I'm not going to bother because you guys know how to use a rolling pin, but you need to roll it really, 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 really thin. Yeah. How uh, thin? Really thin. How thin? I got to look then. Excuse me while I wash my hands. Uh, right. Yeah, really, 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 really thin. Because the thinner you can get it, the better. Actually, I was thinking, I wish I had a pasta maker. I think you could roll the dough through the pasta maker and get it really, 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 oh, you really could. thin. That would work, yeah. Which would work. So. Oh. That's what you want to do. And then you want to... Sorry, Michelle's got a question. Sorry, just very quickly. Um, uh, the recipes that come in all the boxes, yeah, yeah, they're all online. So they're all on the website. So if you go to mrsrogers.com, um, you can look at yeah. the recipes there. In the top right-hand corner, yeah, exactly there's right. a recipe, recipe search, search as well. So that. you can always click yeah. onto that and go and see all the recipes um, are online or oh. they're on our YouTube channel. But yeah, oh, we're crack, I've hit the wrong button there. That's oh, awkward. Oh, that's man. embarrassing. Yeah, uh, but you can, yeah, you can, all the recipes are all listed on YouTube as well. Yeah. So if you go to the, the details on YouTube, 
It um, makes it easier to search, etc. So hopefully that helps. So we've done that just well for done. you. So anyway, back to the pompon. Pom pom <laughs> Alana, you said really a lot. Or did I say it? <laughs> I'm not sure. Really? Um, pompadoms. Really? Sorry, everybody. I've got a really itchy nose. All, all right. the spices and the onions getting up my nose. So. Oh, Donna went to Northland. That would have been nice. We haven't been. Oh. All, we've been been all the way to the top. I have when I was a kid. Yeah. I saw where the Stuart two seas meet. Jan says Stuart Island. That's Ooh. their counts, I reckon. Uh, so anyway, you should probably do some cooking. So yeah. Then you want to dry these out in the oven, uh, about 100 degrees Celsius for an hour, and you end up with like this cardboard type. It's really, stuff. really nice. This really smelly cardboard type. Roll stuff. it out and then. Roll it out, that. stick it on a thing, stick it in the oven for an hour while you're cleaning the toilets or something. And then, this is the most exciting thing. So, I'm going to try and right. not burn myself. That's a good idea. Or lose my pompadour. Or my eyebrows, because okay. I like my eyebrows. Yep. So, I'm going to deep fry it. It's probably not even going to fit in my fryer very well. Is it hot enough? <laughs> it is. It's getting there. We don't. We're not oh, actually we're not cooking it. Okay. All right. We're, we're not cooking it. We are just browning it. All right. Okay. So we don't want that. Hi, Margaret. Welcome back. Type thing. Okay. So, and what this does? Now you can you can use a pot to deep fry. I'm just lucky enough that I bought one of these oh, yeah. jobs, and uh, can deep fry a lot of stuff basically. Yeah. Um. So you can shallow fry basically. Yeah, you could shallow fry it in a pot, absolutely, yeah. which is probably a little bit more practical, to be honest, but I wanted to show you. Yeah, that's a bit easier. That's now, good. we're not cooking this. The concept is to get it nice and brown and to warm it. Yeah. Because you could eat the what it is anyway, but you just want it nice and crunchy. Yeah, it's really nice. But I just want to show you how it goes crunchy, because I think that you could almost, almost make taco-type shells out of this. I haven't done yeah. it yet. It was as I was making them last night, I was like, oh, I could make a taco See, uh, shell. and you can go, obviously, to the supermarket. Um, yeah, you can buy those and, pre-done And buy the, buy the ones that are... Um, in the microwave, in the microwave kind of thing. But, Don't get the garlic flavour. They're not, flavor. They're they not very nice. funny flavour. They always These taste very processed. Lovely. These ones taste... I just burnt my... Oh, no. Itchy bite. Very nice. Okay, so I don't want it. And the whole reason... Look, I don't... That's all I want. Yeah, yeah. That's the colour I want. Lovely. I don't want them fries to the no. point where they're brown i no. want them golden but and the the flavor that comes like I, we tried this last night yeah there's a test kitchen thing like this is it this we call this a test kitchen but sometimes well, this it's, one um, we tried last night because oh, i was really, really not hungry. sure yeah and hungry um you're always hungry and the flavors that come through in the spices are really 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 nice like yeah th they would have to be one of the best poppadoms i've ever had yeah i know yeah. you were pretty keen on the pop i was pretty keen on them yeah so they're really really easy to make they're they are really them, really right? easy to make and they look cool they look homemade i love things when yeah. they look homemade if you wanted to use a cutter the dough is quite you know you could cutter it out so that you've got a perfect circle but i love the fact that it looks homemade. Yeah. I must admit, it took me a couple of rolls to get the right look, but um, yeah, once I got, got there. there. It's I got there. Lovely luck. So we just want to, and I haven't got my fryer on really hot. It's on about 180, which I guess is pretty hot, but from a frying point of view, it's not, not too bad. Blow your socks off type thing. I just want a little bit more in there. I'll just show you this. So that's what it's looking like off to the side there. It's looking really, do you want to just twist, just turn it on the plate there to show people? Yeah, so it comes up really nice. And again, it's not oily or anything like that, a little bit shiny, but not too oily. Well, it won't be too oily in a minute. No. So I'm going to, I might flip it actually. Yeah. There you go, looking, looking lovely. Okay, so this guy's ready to come out too. Well done. And I'm going to go like that. So that's how you can make homemade Oh, Chris, you went to Hong Kong. I want to go to Hong Kong. I've never been to Hong Kong. I, I, I would like to... Um, I've got friends who go to Hong Kong a lot. I'd really got, like to go to like Thailand, I think. Yeah. Would be my next... That's the next adventure. Next adventure. Anyway, let's get more fun cooking. More of fun cooking. More of fun. More of fun. So I'm, again, I'm going to try and not burn myself because... Good idea. Can, now, can you see that, Mr. Cameraman? Is that a good it. location? That is, uh, that is fine. That is fine. Okay, so let's get some oil. So what are we doing now? 
We are cooking the chicken. We're cooking actually the chicken. cooking so the chicken. So we've marinated the, cook, the chicken for how long? Overnight? No. Overnight. overnight. I've done ideally. it overnight. Yep. Now on a medium heat, I want two tablespoons of oil. Yep. And I use oh, rice. Irene oil. went to Vancouver. Sorry, I loved oh, Vancouver. You loved Vancouver I went when back you were Vancouver. Is that oh, where you I fell off the stage? Where did yeah, you I fainted. Yeah, I fainted. I went on a choir tour and fell off the stage. Oh, this is when see I was now I'm 13. laughing. Yeah. Okay. But it was so good. Sophie, I'm, I'm getting hungry too, and I got yeah, but I'm I've got some bay after. leaves. I've got a cinnamon. Stick. Bay leaves or bay leaves? Bay leaves. Okay. Damn if it. you have curry leaves, by all means, use those. I didn't, so I'm yeah. using bay leaves. Jim, Jimmy says we're going to do a Mrs. Rogers um, holiday. Holiday tour. Yeah. Hey, we should all, all hire like a and boat and go um, on a boat to the different... Yeah, I don't know. Sounds good. Uh, a cinnamon stick or quill, if we're being fancy pants, and four cloves. Now, as you can see, I'm leaving that hole. I don't want it on a really hot heat. It's sort of medium to hot. And they are just... Uh, I'm just going to let the flavours gel until I can bye. smell them without stuff coming out my nice. nose. I'm having a look at what else I've got. I'm going to throw in two cardamom pods. Danielle really liked Thailand's food. I love Thai food. Yeah. No, but she went to Thailand and had it. I know, Not but yeah, I love Thai food. That's why I want to go to Thailand. Right. We have friends that went there for their wedding and uh, wedding honeymoon. <laughs> wedding honeymoon. Their wedding honeymoon. Um, their wedding honeymoon. And they did like a Thai cooking class type thing. Yeah. They never cooked it for us though. It's very rude. Mean. So anyway, those are oh, that's starting to come really Sounds fragrant, good. and I'm starting to get a little bit of heat through there. I don't want to burn them. That's why I'm watching my heat. No. Uh, and you can do this on just your like you don't have to use an electric fry pan. I live with my electric fry pan, as you've heard me talk about before, because it's just so easy. I can do everything in it. And we changed um, over from a stainless steel one. Yeah, to, a, to, to, to this the, one. The stainless steel one looked really nice. But this cooks better. This one doesn't stick. Unless I'm cooking and then all the eggs get stuck. <laughs> you just don't it. let it heat up enough. Not very good it's at another that. thing. You need to let it heat up for a good mm. 10, sort of 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so I've got those spices in. I'm cool, going to Daniel. chuck in some um, diced onion now. Diced onion. About a cup. Oh, sugar. I just cut up a, oh, ow, a whole onion. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> You're stop laughing. Mm. When I get hurt when you or hurt, be yeah. insulted. Yeah, <laughs> po possibly. <laughs> So stop insulting you and laughing when you get hurt. Okay, so we just want to... have a good relationship. <laughs> we want to cook the onion until it just goes oh, translucent. Daniel made fresh mango and rice pudding. I love mango. Not you a big do. fan of rice pudding, but if it's got mango in it, <laughs> probably going to try it. Ben will have the fresh mango, I thanks. the fresh mango part. <laughs> okay, so we're wanting to let Tender those flavours... Tender to Mrs. Rogers, care of... Sorry. I need an extractor fan. Am I steaming out that top camera? Probably. <laughs> Okay, so that's going in there, and onion. now we just want to get that to just the stage. Diced onion. Uh, just diced onion. You don't have to be fancy pants there. Just diced onion. A bit of diced onion. Onion's such a great thing. I deep fried onion the other night. Oh, that was lovely. We, We're going to we do that. It, we, we had gonna, it instead yes. of chips, so I am going to do that oh, one because Daniel, that was. So, Danielle's just saying a whole lot of stuff that she makes that sounds awesome. Oh. Yeah. Jeez, put it in the group. Margaret has just made admission to the group. Oh, come on. She hasn't left New Zealand yet. Oh, Margaret, come on, come on. Margaret. You need we to sort know out. you can. Get yourself a cruise ticket and go around. And so we've got one very good friend of ours did a round the world cruise for about four months. Yeah. Um, and they absolutely loved it. Loved Didn't it. have to think and plan or anything. Just got on, got off, slept and made it happen. I dare you. We'll meet you somewhere. We'll at least start with a little cruise. Yeah. Sophie says all English people like rice, but I've just never, I've, I don't know what it is about rice pudding, just the glugginess. Maybe. Yeah, you're not big I'm on big gluggy, on you like crispy I don't, stuff. Yeah, I'm not big, I'm like crispy. You don't like porridge and stuff yeah. like that because of the, the, the glug, glugginess. No. I'm having a very good facial here, by the way. <laughs> My um, pores will be well and truly cleaned. Now, boy, that onion's spicy. I don't know if you saw yeah. our live the other day, but I actually put on an entire mask. The, snor uh, the snorkely mask thing. The snorkely mask for our bloom and onion because my eyes were just streaming. Oh, you should watch that back as well and make that. We we ate that afterwards, the bloom and onion. Oh my goodness, it was awesome. Yeah, it, it said that night wasn't so <laughs> that, awesome. Yeah, the next 24 hours, not so great. Not so but, great. Yeah, definitely good when it, when it was... Um, ben says, okay, Alana, I'm daring Alana and Margaret are going to go on a tour around the world. Together? They, yep. could, they should go, Alana to, hasn't go together. Alana has Zealand either. And neither oh, has Margaret. Oh, guys, so you've got you go. to. There's so much more out there. Yeah. 
there is. And you can get some really cheap flights and things at the moment, yeah. cheap accommodation. Um, mm -hmm. Vietnam is apparently really, really, really Fiji, great. Yeah. My cousin lives there now. I love Fiji when we were there recently. Oh, we like Fiji, but Not too far it's away. more for work. It is. That was. Um, anyway, now just for the people who are joining us, we are making chicken yes. masala. Chicken masala, which is using marinade. 13 like herbs, herbs and, spices. and spices, basically, which yep. is pretty cool. Oh, pretty cool. But oh, the thing is, grandmother loved rice pudding. Yeah, cool. I do love. I love rice pudding. With so a dollop rice, of jam, just rice plain pudding rice pudding, in our conversation with dollop of jam. Maybe I should do rice pudding next. What about okay. slow cooker rice pudding? Someone right, said done. to me once, can you do that? <laughs> Free facial, says Sophie, absolutely right. Yeah, with the herbs, I tell you what, there's going to be nothing the left in my pores. My eyes will start streaming in a minute. And I'll need to wear one of those mask things under my nose. Anyway, so that, that onion's starting to become a little bit more translucent. Oh, lovely. I'm wanting to chuck in some chili. Now, as I said, chuck I'm doing this for my family. Um, or ben loves his head blown off. The rest of us don't. So I'm only putting in a little bit of chili because it does really have a nice element of flavour. I just don't want the kids to not eat it, yeah. basically. Yeah, if fine. your kids can handle chili, awesome. Mine can't. Margaret says she's laughing. I'm not sure whether she's laughing at me or with me. I'm going to go with. Let's say at. Oh, okay. Well, fine. Okay. So I'm, want I'm wanting to get some ginger in there too. Now, remember cooking your uh, spices will bring out more flavor in them. Yeah. That's why I've done the whole spices oh, first. And now I'm, now I'm adding the uh, ground spices. Oh. Now, this is the um, Kashmiri masala. Alana would like us to do the um, slow cook rice. Slow cook rice pudding. Okay. Mm. I'll work on that. I will work on that just for you. So it is quite a, like, I'm just looking at it now. It looks, it's a very low heat, isn't it? You sort of just... Well, I'm just, I'm also very aware that my face is about to fall off. Okay, that's, that's a thing. Yep, mm. I'll give you that. Because I'm not good with spices. Right. In vast quantities. Shelley went to Hawaii. Never been to Hawaii. Oh, I swam with a turtle in Hawaii. Like, just a mm. random turtle. And I was like, Walked what's up. that? Hey, is dude. it a shark? Is it one of those... Hey, yeah, dude. it was like... Let's get in there. I'm a third for you. Anyway, what else have I got? Oh, some garlic. I'm going to chuck, chuck that some in. Garlic in. I ran. I've used so many spices that I ran out of my little potty things. There was a complaint earlier on in the day. Okay. Oh god, it smells good. Now, for people who can't necessarily stay and watch these videos, don't have time because I know we do go on a bit for like half an hour or so sometimes. <laughs> I think we're. This we're, one will be a half. This hour one job. will be a half hour job. You can come back and scrub through and yeah. look at them later on. You can put if you've got an Apple TV or a Chromecast, you can watch it on your TV as well. So what we often do actually is we watch them back um, just to see if we so can. So I can do see a, how silly I am. Yep. Let's see, let's see if we can do a bit of job for you or whatever. So yeah. Okay. So now. We've got that cooking nicely, and I'm wanting to put in my chicken. Now, remember, I've marinated oh. this overnight. Oh, Get all that marinade in as well. Sophie's saying that she's cooked rice and quinoa and coconut milk in the rice cooker. Oh, lovely. Mm. Yeah, we are going to have to do a, a slow, slow cook cooker winter meal. Yep. Yep, all right. Sounds done. good. Done. Okay, and we just want to oh, that's lovely. spread that round. Yum. So that's our marinated chicken. That's our marinated overnight, overnight, overnight. Overnight. This was yeah. marinated overnight or overnighted in a nut marinated. Yes. Oh, and now yeah. I'm wanting to put it in. Smells so good. Some tomato oh, paste. Now um, we have a request. Yes. Um, from Margaret. Yes. She Margaret. needs an easy dessert to make on Saturday for her birthday. How oh. many people are coming on your birthday, Give me Margaret? a flavour, Margaret, Fla that Margaret, you'd like your, to work with. What's your favourite flavour? Do you like, like chocolate or fruit? Oh, that's looking nice now. What or did you do then? I looked away. It's gone darker. I, do, I put in the tomato paste. Oh, right. Sorry. Wow, that looks awesome. So chocolates or fruits yeah. or g give me um, a basic flavour. What's your, what's flavor? your favourite flavour? We did, Alana, we suggested some lamb, lamb recipes. So, oh, I'm actually wanting to cover that up for about five minutes. I'll try and do it a bit quicker if I can without burning it. And just let, because chicken can get overcooked really quickly and then you get that rubberiness and we don't want that. So It's rubbery. We, it's not rubbery. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we just need to get it to that stage where it's starting to, not brown, but it's starting to uh, cook. 
and by leaving it still, it will actually cook quicker as yeah, opposed nice. to consistently stirring it all the time. See, that's what I do. I move things. Yeah, too you much move stuff cook. way too much. I've been much. trying to do that with bacon and everything, and it doesn't go particularly so, well. I'm just going to actually look at how they've gone. You could serve the yeah, chicken wow. in there. That's cool. That's because of the shape of my deep fryer. But that's awesome. That could be quite cool to serve the chicken in there. That is neat. Yeah. Well done. Actually, just pick the other beard. Pick that that's up what I mean. It's, like, it's a bit like a taco. That's cool. That's cool. Now, you can make whatever shapes. Crunch. If you want to turn these into chips, you could easily cut like and make like a corn chip concept. Yeah, that would be cool. But oh, they make your plate look pretty. That's the main thing. So you can hear that cooking away. I've got three more ingredients to pop three in. Three more out of the 13? Ingredients, not 13. Two of which are actually spices. I don't know if you saw me put a little bit of salt in there, but I did do salt. I haven't put pepper. I put salt. You can put pepper if you like pepper. I like pepper. I just wanted salt. So I'm going to try and remove that because I know that you can't see it very well under the lid. So you can see that sizzling. Now I am going to put in some ground coriander and some mint. Yum. Because all these flavours together just are awesome. Now this is something you oh, could actually looks... do in a slow cooker. I'm getting distracted by the smell to be honest. I know. It's fucking lovely. Now this is the bit I really am looking forward to. Shelley says thank you for the papadom recipe. And oh. oh and Margaret says it's just for her, she's going out the night before. She likes chocolate and berries and apples. Done. There you go. I've got one Done. in my head already, Margaret. Spice chocolate mousse, Jimmy says. Oh that sounds nice too. Mm. Oh. Okay. This Yum. is coconut milk. If you wanted to use cream, you can. If you want to eat it just like that, you can. I'm wanting more of a curry type um, with a gravy. So I'm going to put some in. Mm. I've set a cup in the recipe, but you need to just judge. Oh, my camera's got a little bit funny. Judge oh, really? all of your uh, ingredients and see how they're going and see how watery your onion is, etc. That and looks nice. Because I still want to cook it. And I am going to put the rest of that in. I still want to cook it for uh, another five minutes, just on a medium heat, just to let those flavours all be friends, hold hands, start loving each other. Oh, nice. Tell you what, it's um. Smells divine. It smells You might have to have a pre-dinner trial. I've got to go to a meeting. I, don't, I really don't want to. Oh. Because that looks really, really nice. So I'm just wanting to put it on there. I'm oh, just Sophie, yes, we are on Instagrams. If you go Instagrams. to Mrs. Rogers NZ, look it up. We do um, more uh, and stories and things. We, yeah, we so do more stories than through. actual photos. Occasionally, uh, we will take a good photo and pop Don, it up. Donna wants to know if we freeze this as well. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make sure when you thaw it, you can uh, bring it back to a good temperature. Yeah. And Shelley, yeah, the cup, the colour. Well, it's probably difficult to see on camera, but. Um, the colour looks the amazing, colour amazing in person. And it smells well. really good because my nose is already going and I have even had a hay fever pill this morning. That <laughs> didn't help. I need to get some uh, some spray up my nose. But anyway, what we want to do is sort of get that to a simmer uh, for around another five minutes just because we don't want raw chicken. Oh, Shelley says it's brightened up a dull day. Well, that's Aww, nice. Aw, thanks. Nice. That's so nice. So we love away. you guys. Oh, thank you for joining us. Okay. Yeah, Jimmy says he's got a belly that will fit that nicely. Yes, absolutely. Jimmy, you're going to have to get in a queue, mate, because... Um, I think I I've got am... people knocking on my door just yep. quietly. Me and The neighbours will be going, what's that smell? And it just looks Look so that. lovely. Look, it looks like something that you get in at a, a restaurant. Yep. Oh, I've just had a thought. Stay oh, wow, there. Wait, you need the to line, talk. Okay, because she's just going to duck underneath the thing there. And I'm going to talk about... But that looks lovely. You know, they talk about... Hi. Um... Talk about like going down and buying your own sauces, well, buying sauces out of a jar and think, no, no, you know, that's, that's, don't get me wrong, that's fine if you want to make oh, life a lot easy. quick and easy, Absolutely. but you're never going to get the flavours that you do when you do this. But if you want to impress someone, if you want to someone yeah, this is the go. Oh, we're steaming up for it. Look at that. Oh, look, it's all just. Hold the line. Hold the line. I've got one of those fancy pants bottles. Look. Look at this. I've used before. Glorious. Yum. And I don't mind having the bay leaves and everything. Alana's got a smile on. That's good. Good to okay. hear, Alana. Now, I'll get so, you to bring that towards where the, yeah, about gonna, where the jar I'm is. Try and 
I'm going to see if we can get a shot. And then move it up. Oh, look at you multitasking. Well done. Like cooking? Okay, right. Sorry. Let's have a look. I'm going to bring it in. That is a restaurant quality meal. Look at that. Get a spoon and just spoon it up a little bit so you can show the camera a little bit. Oh, see, I don't know if people can hear, but I'm actually swallowing because my mouth is salivating um, over here. Oh, that sounds good. The good thing with these is that you don't need to have a spoon because... Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going like, to have to come over. It's like, Wait, um, it's like you're just going to, everyone, you're just going to have to have the same camera shot because I'm coming over to get a little bit of my thing. Oh, here we hot. go. Oh, is mm. it? Hot's good. Yum. Hi. Just getting some food because I can't yeah. sit there for half an hour and we'll see how this goes. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Mm, that's oh nice. okay. That's really nice. I don't know if people can hear it. Sorry for eating when talking my mouthful, but that poppadom is so crispy and thick. Mm. Like all the poppadoms you normally get when you're um when you're like in restaurants. Those, um, I like thin. This mm. that's just the perfect. Can I don't think you need to. You said you needed to try and make it um, Thin. thinner. I don't think you need to. Yeah. Oh, no, this was as thin as I could get. Oh, My wow. arms are sore today from rolling these suckers out last wow. night. Wow. Oh wait, Karen went to Lay. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. Which is in the Tibetan plateau in the Himalayan Indian Himalayan range. Wow, that's cool. What you oh, do there? Uh, um, salt comes from. Hey, that cool. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Well done. Well, everybody, wrap up. Mm. Sorry, because I, I actually just want to have lunch now. <laughs> Sorry about I that. Lunch anyway. yeah. I like lunch, yeah. So, guys, real quick and easy and curry. Yeah. Lots of flavours oh, without the flavors are incredible. Base. And, uh, yeah, try it. Yeah. Try it. Let us know. Let us know if you make it. I'd love to hear it. If you don't know, um, or if you're not part of our group yet, please become part of our group. It's where you can actually have a say. Please it's do. It's controlled by you guys, not really us. We can jump in when we are needed to, which is great. Uh, and obviously we watch it. It's like a little special clothes group. It is. For people like us who love food. Food. Uh, so yeah, jump in there. If you're not in there, if you are in there, post up uh, whatever you would like. Whatever you're cooking for dinner. What, any questions, let us know. And if you know what you're doing. If you're joining us later in this, this video, you can watch it back on YouTube or watch, watch it back, it back on, on Facebook. YouTube, yep. Check the recipes on the website, follow us on the Instagram, yes. share and like this, share and like all that us. kind of stuff. Show us some love. Yeah. So anyway, guys, that is my... Uh, Thank you for all the chats Masala. as well. Thanks for talking to us, because otherwise it's we just, just get tired talking to each other. Exactly. And yeah, if you do make it, let us know. Send us a photo. If you don't want to put it up, just, just private message us. It'd be cool to see that you've made a curry. It would be absolutely thanks fantastic so to see. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Love you lots. Um, I'm going to go and blow my nose. Yeah. Thank you, Sophie. Thanks for everyone for the commenting. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.